Welcome to PCB Heaven Tech Labs. In this video, I will show you how you can use my next make, which is this simple LED resistor dial selector. The purpose of this LED selector is to solve the problem of calculating the value and the power rating of the resistor needed to drive one or more LEDs from a voltage source. So here is how it works. First of all, you need to design the circuit. Very simple indeed, the circuit has only one power source, the resistor that is about to be calculated and the LED string which can be composed by one or more LEDs. Then you need to determine the LED voltage. Different LEDs have different forward voltages. This is a value that you need to consult the manufacturer's datasheet to get the value in precision. Typically, Red LEDs operate from 1.7 to 2.1 volts. Bright red LEDs operate from 2 to 2.5 volts. Green LEDs from 2.2 to 2.5 volts. Blue LEDs can go up to 3.7 volts. White LEDs from 3.2 to 3.5 volts. UV LEDs from 3.1 to 4.4 volts and infrared LEDs have a maximum of 1.9 volts. Note again that these are only indicative values and may change for specific manufacturer and LED types. Let's suppose now that in our example we will use white LEDs. The forward voltage of each LED is 3.4 volts and we want to make the driver for three LEDs in series. So the total LED string voltage will be 3 times 3.4 volts and that is 10.2 volts. Now we need to determine the power source voltage. It has to be of course higher than the total LED voltage. So we choose a typical source of 12 volts. And now let's use the resistor dial calculator to calculate the resistor value and power rating. There are two wheels on the selector the internal wheel which is fixed and the external wheel which can be rotated. The internal wheel has values for the LED string voltage and the external wheel has values for the power supply voltage. Holding the selector like this we rotate the external wheel and we align the source voltage with the LED voltage that we named before. So we align 12 volts on the external wheel with 10.2 volts on the internal wheel. Now we are ready to read the resistor value. There are three areas for three different current ratings, 10, 20 and 30 milliamperes. If for example we want to operate the LED string at 20 milliamperes, then we choose the resistor that is about 90 ohms. Then we flip the side of the selector and make sure that the voltages are still aligned. And now we can read the power rating of the resistor. In our example, for 20 mA, the resistor must be able to dissipate about 40 mW of power. And that's it. We can now choose the closest resistor value with the proper power rating and turn on our circuit. Thank you for watching this video. Check out the links in the info of this video to read more about linear LED drivers and find more simple sophisticated transistor drivers for your circuits. And of course, don't forget to visit my website for more interesting theories and circuits.